President Trump said he's Anthony not going to allow it to happen. Williams. He's going to send the military to the border. Roger Stone joins me now. Roger, in your decades of politics, have you ever seen anything like this? No, Owen, I really haven't. This flood of illegals into the country just seems to me to be playing into the hands of the Republicans. Clearly, the only thing worse than being wrong is being boring, and the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. At the center of the latest inquiry is President Trump's associate and friend of over three decades, Roger Stone. It's cold, I'm wearing a hat. So. Long time Trump ally, Roger Stone. Roger Stone. Roger Stone. Investigators are looking at whether he shared information with Trump's presidential campaign that he believed came from WikiLeaks. For months, a spotlight has intensified on Roger Stone. The investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 election is focusing on whether WikiLeaks coordinated with Stone and the Trump campaign. You know, there was an indictment today. Yeah, who got indicted? Russian national, a woman who was involved in the financing of some social media stuff. Nothing about it. Politically explosive WikiLeaks documents allegedly hacked by Russian operatives were released just weeks before the election. Washington Post reporter Manuel Roy Franzia visited Stone just as Mueller's investigation appeared to zero in on him. People are operating under the assumption they're investigating you. That's more than an assumption. People who've gone into the grand jury have come out and said they're asking about you. All, all fair, but... Only logical that... Uh, but real media organizations, before they print your name, give you an opportunity to respond. Several of Stone's associates and acquaintances, including his longtime business partner Paul Manafort, have been called to testify. Manafort agreed to cooperate with the special counsel as part of a plea deal in which he admitted to two counts of conspiracy and obstruction. Stone remained steadfast in his denials. Are you going to get indicted, Roger? Uh, I have no idea. I could be framed. This I can tell you. I don't believe that I will be charged in any crime that relates to Russian collusion or WikiLeaks collaboration or John Podesta's Fakakta emails, which I have no advance notice uh, or uh, notice or knowledge of. Um, I'm certainly guilty of bluffing and uh, posturing and punking the Democrats unless they pass some law against bullshit and I missed it. Um, I'm engaging in tradecraft. It's politics. I'm sure it's driving the Democrats crazy, but there's nothing illegal about it. Summer of 2016, you say that there's stuff coming, and yes. you also say that you've had communication with Julian Assange. I actually have uh, communicated with Assange. I believe the next tranche of his documents pertain to the Clinton Foundation. Do you regret making that statement? Well, it's an overstatement. Um, I also clarify it in 100 interviews, including several with you. I make it clear that my communication is not direct, but it's through a, a third party who simply assures me that what Assange said on CNN in June is accurate, that there is a treasure trove of documents or information on Hillary, and it will be published. And I'm told it will be published in October. And there is. And it is. And it does change the campaign. WikiLeaks has posted thousands of emails hacked from Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, and they could offer a new perspective on... Well, with the camera rolling, tell us, <laughs> once and for all, what you were relying on to make those statements in August of 2016, and then the statements that you made later um, that summer and fall. As I have said, Randy Credico, who is... Uh, colleague of mine at that point, he uh, assures me through his own sources that Assange really has devastating information on Hillary and he's really going to publish it. What other sources of information did you have? Well, I had uh, a, a secondary source, a fellow by the name of Charles Ortel had forwarded me an email in which James Rosen tells Judge Andrew Napolitano that there are WikiLeaks disclosures coming and they regard the Clinton Foundation. That turns out to be inaccurate, but that's the, the source of my claim in front of the Broward Republican Organization. But let's come back to a, 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 a more seminal question. If someone received information from Assange, or if someone communicated with Assange, 
why would that be illegal? If your answer is, well, Assange is a Russian asset, I would argue that that's unproven. No court in the United States has found that to be true. It's a talking point for the intelligence agencies. Manafort has pleaded guilty. Yes. There have been a lot of reports that he's meeting with the special counsel's office, and there's been a lot of speculation that he's talking about you to them. Let me. Yeah. I need to drink this before I crush Manuel Holder. <laughs> I am unconcerned. Paul Manafort doesn't know anything detrimental about me because I haven't done anything wrong. Um, I do know that the financial toll on me and my family has been extraordinary. I've written five books. They have, thank goodness, been successful. Facebook's doing their best to make sure Stone's Rules is not as successful as the previous things I've written, but I urge you to get a copy. The, I have one. One of the rules is attack, 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 and never defend. Uh, uh, those, and, those and another good, is... And those are good rules for any political contest. And another is deny everything. And I do. Are you doing that right uh, now? I, I, yes, and I'm also telling the truth. In order to discredit a denial, one would need evidence and proof that's credible and none exists. Let's, let's cross here and go up. I'll follow you. Are you worried? Are, are you worried that you're going to be in prison a year from now? That I'll be interviewing you in prison a year from now? Uh, no, uh, because if I am falsely charged, I will fight those charges and I will win. There, I haven't broken any laws. Um, uh, I do recognize a political vendetta when I see one, but I think the American people do as well. If charges are brought against me, they will have to be fabricated because I haven't done the things that MSNBC and others allege that I have done. Okay. I think we beat this to death. I think we did.